Hi, today we are going to learn Cook's theorem. Cook's theorem says satisfiability problem or language is NP complete. Problem sometimes we use satisfiability problem or language for problem we can use language also. So Cook's theorem says the satisfiability problem is NP complete. So what is satisfiability? A propositional logic formula phi is called satisfiable if there is some assignment to its variable that makes it evaluate to true. So what is this? This that should be true. If there is a propositional logic formula that should be true on some input. For example, P and Q is satisfiable if P equal to 1 and Q equal to 1 then it will be a true let's understand a little bit boolean so what is boolean it represents 0 or 1 0 for false 1 for true and the operators for boolean is not and and or not is has a highest precedence and and second highest then or for this P and not P is it satisfiable no it is not satisfiable even if I put p equal to 1 it will become false while satisfiability is for to evaluate true there is three set very popular three set a language is three set if it is equal to three set phi where phi is satisfiable three CNF formula so 3 CNF formula. What is 3 CNF? It has two conditions. It is in CNF. What is CNF is conjunctive normal form and every clause which is or has exactly three literals. So what is literals? It is X, Y, if there are some variables that are literals. For example, this is in 3 CNF. Why it is in 3 CNF? First check is it is a CNF or not yes it is in CNF there is a conjunction and the clause mean or of literals so X Y Z are literals so here we have two clause so every clause has exactly three literals and each clause has a three literals for example for this clause there is x y and z for this clause not x not y and z so a language is three set if phi is satisfiable three cnf formula which is conjunctive normal form in the boolean expression so this this is satisfiability problem now let's see what is cook's theorem and it's proof outline I am not going to prove it but what is the procedure for proving Cook's theorem so theorem says set is NP complete so we have to prove it set is NP complete so proof consists of two steps the first step is convert the execution of polynomial time non-deterministic Turing machine to a bunch of well-formed formula such that formula satisfies if and only if the machine accepts the input and second is so that the sum of length of formula is polynomial in size of problem so if we follow these two steps we can prove set is NP complete the step can be in this way first if a language is NP hard can polynomial reduce any NP problem to L second NP complete if it is NP complete it means L belongs to NP if L belongs to NP then non-deterministic Turing machine for L that runs in polynomial time and N non-deterministic Turing machine is the only model we have for NP problem so that's why Z belongs to NP. If Z belongs to NP, therefore we can polynomially reduce an N arbitrary polynomial non-deterministic Turing machine to Z. It means we have proven Z is NP complete. So 
if we elaborate these steps, so we can prove it that set is and be complete, which is Cook's theorem. So it is only outline. Thank you.